Hey, what's up, guys? Today, Griezmann will be making his debut for Real Sociedad. Well, I should say his second debut. We've also got Pereira making his debut for the club, of course, in the last episode, which, by the way, if you haven't watched it, it might go down in history as one of the worst episodes in terms of release clauses being paid, players wanting to leave. Like it's It's been a bit hectic so far, hasn't it? But uh, we managed to replace Tavares, who went to... Where did he go? Was it Liverpool? I'm pretty sure it was Liverpool. My 82-rated starlet, someone who's been here since the start. I love the guy. He's gone. We've brought in Pereira. And actually, it was... I mean, it's an upgrade for... Well, we, we sold him. Technically, we lost him for 64 million. And we bought Pereira for 60 million. So we, we've made a profit. It's ridiculous, really. But... um. I'm afraid the kits still aren't ready. That'll be in the next episode, hopefully. Um, for now, we're just going to stick with last season's kits. It's just one of those things. We just haven't been able to get them ready yet. Um, by the way, something I've got to point out to you guys. Uh, Valverde. He might just be the most well-rounded player I've used in FIFA 20. 84 pace, 82 shooting, 82 passing, 83 dribbling, 81 defending, and 85 physical. That is absolutely ridiculous what a signing he's proved to be yes we miss Marino but come on Valverde has been great but we are now about to kick off the La Liga campaign for season three of course we pretty much have to go unbeaten if we really really want to win and beat Barcelona Atletico Madrid Real Madrid we're gonna have to go through I would say I don't want to say unbeaten, but maybe we could lose one or two games and that is it. So we, we have to be pretty flawless. Now, I am conscious that a lot of people would probably like me to be moving on to a new series kind of soon. So with the interest of you guys not finding it too boring, we aren't going to play every single game. Hopefully we'll get some luck when it comes to simulating matches. But of course, this season we've got the Champions League again. Oh my God. I've just seen Harry Kane's gone to Bayern for 130 million euros, pretty much. That's crazy. But uh, yes, there will be some simulation this season. I don't want this series to last too much longer. I'm eager to go to the Serie A. And then I might have a little bit of a surprise coming up soon-ish. So yeah, we will simulate uh, a few games here and there. So what we're going to do is I think we've got Real Madrid coming up. So I'm going to simulate Ibar and Espanyol. And then, of course, we will go to the Bernabeu. And that'll be our first game that we actually play. Also, I'm trying to work out who came up from the uh, the second tier. I think Tenerife came up. Granada, maybe? I don't think I played them last season. But uh, it's it's not really going to affect us too much, is it? I'm just... I'm praying that uh, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona just don't have insane perfect seasons I just I can't deal with it it's unrealistic I think they should be losing at least three a season um, but we've won our first game no injuries that's great to see and we get a debut performance from Griezmann that surely was maybe a nine out of ten he's got two goals there or Yarzabal scored as well okay off to a winning start let's see if we can get another good result and of course let's see if we can make it out of the trans window without losing any other players Isaac was disappointed not to play. Uh, keep working hard. Although we've just signed Griezmann, we will still be using Isaac, of course. Now, do I go with the second team? Because uh, I want to I make sure I'm fully fit for the game against Real Madrid. So we're going to go ahead and use the second team, which is still really strong. And let's see if we pick up another win. And, oh, just about 2-1. And Isaac gets his start and gets his goal. That's great. A couple of teams have played three games already, including Atletico Madrid, and as expected, they've won all three. Barcelona have won their first two games, so have Real Madrid. Um, Barcelona haven't even conceded yet, but of course, it's very early, so we can't read too much into it. But it goes to show it is going to be tough. We are going to be in for a real tough season, but we're going to play against Real Madrid now. I'm really excited to try Griezmann out. I think he's going to be superb for us. He's already scored two, of course. Uh, when we simulated the first game. So he's off to a good start. Can we continue that? I've got to say, I know he's 30 years old and a lot of people were confused as confused as to why I would sign someone that's coming to the end of his career. The thing is, he's still got at least a couple of years left. Sure, he might go down to 88, maybe 87, but that's, that's nothing too bad. The fact is, he's good now. He is quality right now. Whereas bringing in someone else, yes, I know Haaland 
is good. He's very, very good. He's not on the same level as Griezmann, I would say. And this is my last season. There's no point signing a, a player that will reach a really high rating because I'm not going to be here for that long. I needed someone that comes in and improves the team right away. And I think we've done a good job to get Griezmann. But here is Hazard. Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay. That could have been a bit dodgy. Luckily, we've got away with it. Here is Valverde. Into Griezmann. Over to Oyarzabal. Ah, oh, Casemiro's just stepped in and nicked the ball there. And now here is Hazard. How has he got on for Real Madrid this season? I think he's been injured recently, hasn't he? But I don't think he's had a very good year since he's moved from Chelsea in real life. Which I'm surprised at, by the way. He is such a good player. I'm, I'm not really sure why it hasn't worked out so far. I've just realised they've got Maguire at centre-back as well. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. And that's a dangerous cross. Valverde can't clear it. Oh, no. Okay, thankfully, no danger coming in from that shot. Oh, that's a good ball. Erdegaard's in against his parent club. Near post. Go on. Hey, he's done it. Griezmann with the assist and Erdegaard... As I just said, he's playing against his parent club and they're going to hate him for that. How dare you score against us? They, they maybe should add it into career mode where if you loan a player from a club, they can put in a clause that says you can't play them against the parent club. That'd be hilarious. But once again, the near post finish works. Erdegaard, one of the best young players I've used in FIFA 20, makes it 1-0. We're off to a cracking start here. When you look at my squad... You know, let's say there's an average rating of 86, 85, something like that. Do we look like we can compete? Numbers-wise, I would say we probably can. Obviously, it's down to my ability, ultimately. But honestly, I feel like in just Season 3, which I predicted we could be competitive by then, we have achieved it. We have achieved a squad that is good enough to compete with the best. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling quite confident, actually. Just getting a win against Real Madrid would be incredible. But here's Hazard. Trying to get that tackle in. Oh, it's deflecting all over the place. No. Oh, that would have been so cruel. Here is Baron Achea. Over to Dominguez. Go on. Inside for Griezmann. It's a good turn. But Harry Maguire. Wow. Just steps in and takes it. So frustrating. I think that's going to be half time. Okay, so far so good, guys. This is the first real competitive game of the season for us. And we're winning at half time against Real Madrid, away from home. All thank you to that man right there. What do I do here? I think we just cross it with his right foot. Oh, oh my God. That would have been beautiful. Go on, Griezmann. On that right foot, no. Shouldn't have done that. I should have tried to pass it back, maybe. Pereira's done really well there. Oh, and then he gives it away. There's a lot of space for these Madrid players. Look at this. Completely unmarked. Oh, no. Okay, it's not a very good shot. Thankfully, Pau Torres didn't take him out. That would have been a penalty. I've got to say, the Van der Beek guy is just insane. Everything goes through him. Oh, no. Here's Tony Cruz. Sway. Dominguez steps in. Hang on. Oh, he's got it. No, surely that's a foul. Is that not a foul? He's kind of got in the way there. We won the ball. Oh, look who it is. Jovic coming on for Benzema. Benzema must be like, what, 82 rated by now or something like that? Why isn't Jovic starting? But my God, if he scores against us, I'm not going to be very happy. We're going to make a change now as well. By the way, the mini kits aren't working, as you can tell. They've updated FIFA, so I need to fix that. Uh, I'm going to bring in Zaracho. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Let me fix that. We'll keep Griezmann on. Um, I'm going to throw in McKenny. And then swap like that. And I'm also going to give Pereira a little bit of a rest up here. He has had a very busy game up against Hazard. And he's called into action right away. Jeez. The thing about Buter is he's very quick. So he can get back. Wait, is that actually Daily Blind? It actually is. Oh my god. I thought they had some sort of regen that had the same name. Oh no. What is that clearance? This could be bad. Get it out. Just yes. Thank you. Right, Griezmann isn't going to keep this, but we can put pressure on Trent here. See if they can make a mistake. Push up. Oh, God, they're just playing it through me now. Just holding on to this 1-0 lead. I have a bad feeling, though. Only takes a moment for them to score, but we've got it back. Hello. Give it back to Griezmann. Let's go. Let's go. Put it through 40 yards about. Back over the top now. 
Go on, Griezmann. Good first touch. Courtois. Courtois! Damn it. Okay. Corner coming in. It's a good one. Oh, Jovic clears it. Butte is going to pick this one up. I'm going to run through this gap. Look, the ju Oh, God. Almost lost it. Go on. Finish it. No. Yes. <laughs> I just ran through them. They've been so solid this entire match. And they just left it open. I... I the AI in this game suck, man. But Griezmann. Oh, what a goal. I think it was Baron Nechea that got the original shot in that came off the post. Yeah, it is. And then it falls for Griezmann who just whacks it. Thank you very much. And we've beaten one of our main rivals this season. What an incredible three points that could prove to be. It's very early on in the season, but it's games like this which set the tone. You know, we've won against a big team. Unlucky Zidane. We are now heading into deadline day. And I don't know what to do. We've still got money. We've still got the ability to make some signings, but I just don't know if I need to. The only thing, some I, I saw some comments, people were saying that maybe another centre-back, like a, an 87, 88 rated centre-back to come in for Torres. But I like him so much. I don't I don't think I need to, but I get it. I do get it. It's, it's one of the, the weaker sides of the team. I guess you could say left wing as well. Maybe we could maybe include Porto in some sort of left wing deal. I mean, I mean, I could take a look. It doesn't hurt, does it? We've got 10 hours left. Let's have a look in the market for any left wingers that are available and maybe would be interested in a swap because Porto has started to decline. He's 82 rated now. He's come down by one already. And um, yeah, may maybe I could improve there. Well, I found a lot. Quite a few players that I would be interested in signing. Not specifically left midfielders, but also right midfielders that are maybe right-footed. So I can put them on the left. There's there's quite a few. I'm just finishing up here. We've got Solaire as well. Oh, he could be good. Not the paciest, though. I'm looking for someone that's really quick that can get in behind. Wow, look at Theo Walcott at 32. Jeez. Okay, right. Let me show you who we've added to the transfer hub. We have... Uh, let's remove these guys. We've got Dembele, who has five-star weak foot, so it actually wouldn't matter what side we play him on. The only thing I don't like about him is he is injury-prone. Something to think about, isn't it? We've got Rodrigo, um, really cheap. He's got a release clause of 49 million, so could be an option. And, of course, weakens Real Madrid a little bit. We've got Coman as well, also injury-prone, also has a release clause. And then we have Correa. Now, Atletico Madrid were insane last season. I know they didn't quite win it in the end, but most of the season they were the best team and they used Correa. I'm thinking maybe, again, it's tactical. Maybe we try and do a swap deal here. Give them Porto plus a bit of cash and see if they're willing to part ways with Correa. He would play as a left winger for me. He's right footed. He'd be absolutely great at that. He's quick. He's got great shooting. I think he could actually be very, very good for us. He's got the best shooting here except from Dembele. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go with Dembele. The injury prone thing isn't that bad. I've, I've just noticed in general in FIFA 20, players don't get injured that often. Um, Rodrigo is another interesting option. Would be very cheap. He's obviously rapid. He's not as strong, though, which is something you've got to think about as well. Um... I'm going to go Correa. I'm feeling like Correa could be a really good signing for us. So we'll go ahead and approach to buy now. It's going to be a lot of money for sure. We've got around 40 million in the bank. But of course, Porto will add on some of that money. It's not the best way of doing this, but uh, we're going to give it a go anyway. So Porto worth 25, probably around 30 in a deal like this. They are willing to listen, but how much do they want? What? Yeah, swap deals are just broken. They just don't work. I'm going to offer 35. Because at this point, I don't I don't really need the money, you know. I can, I can probably do this. 35 plus poor two. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, please. Man, why won't you negotiate with me? That just seems a bit unfair. Um, 40? Are they willing to do 40? I doubt it, but we're going to try it. I'm massively overpaying here, and they're still 
not letting it happen. One more try, and if it doesn't work, we go for someone else. 45 million final offer. Can I even do that? I don't know if I've got enough. Let's see. Uh, we can. Just about do it. This is it. I'm, I'm actually not that comfortable with this. I might not do it. I don't know. Wow, they accept that. Oh, my God. The, uh, the communication between the managers and the clubs and the negotiation process is just broken. It really is. Uh, how much is his wage at the moment? 88k. Oh, this is going to be real tight. How much is Porto earning? Let's have a look. Porto, where are you? He is on 48. Ah, that's a problem. Um, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I, I feel like this isn't worth doing. But he is such a good player. What do I do, guys? What do I do? All right, let's just see what would happen if we try and negotiate with him. Let's see how much he's willing to take. Because we can afford it. It can be done, but it's it's going to use up all of our money. Um, he will go on important. I think he'll probably accept that. Yep, that's fine. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We'll go with a four-year contract. Don't really need to offer any more than that. Release clause, he wants 127. Yeah, that's fine. We'll put that one in. Oh, okay, right. If we remove the goal bonus, we can get him on 60. And we'll pay 600 up front. Go on, do it. I mean, I'm literally spending all my money on this. Here we go. Oh, wow. Wow, we did it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I had a bad feeling as I pressed skip, you know, just to get it done. Um, the reality is we wouldn't be able to afford Coman unless we actually sold Porto, which we might not have had time to do. It was a risk. Rodrigo probably would have been doable, um, but again, we would have had to, to sell Porto. And although his wages are much higher, though, same with Dembele. Do you know what? I think maybe I did do the right thing in the end, and I have weakened another team. So this means Porto obviously has gone, which I'm a little bit sad about. He's a really good player. But Correa goes on that left wing. It is an improvement for sure. Baron Achea is a very good player, but still young and will be explosive off the bench. But Correa is just, I think, overall, if we compare them stats wise, yeah, he's just a better player. He's got much better shooting, passing, um, physical as well. I mean, the dribbling's very similar. The pace is very similar. And defending, Correa is pretty good. I mean, it's because he plays for Atletico Madrid. Everyone defends for them. But I'm actually pretty happy with that. And I'm going to give Correa... I mean, I guess he gets number seven, doesn't he? Because that's what Porto had. But we are now done. We are not going to be doing anything else in this transfer window. I'm not selling or buying anyone. We're done. That is it. And it might be the last signing in total. Maybe in January we, we won't need anyone. It really depends on if release clauses get paid or if there's a big injury, or, or whatever. So uh, for now, though, we're definitely done. And it looks like we are going to be seeing almost a billion being spent. At the moment, Harry Kane is still the biggest transfer. We've got Stengs going to Arsenal for 30 million euros. We've got Barcelona si signing a, a Brazilian player, I'm guessing, one of the, uh, the random ones that's put into the game. But nothing, surely nothing's going to beat Harry Kane for 129 million euros to Bayern. What a crazy transfer that is. But we're done. That is the end of the window. 916 million, was it? Oh, so much. And wait, what? What? Baron Achea's move to Napoli is broken down. Have I had this bug again where it hasn't shown me that that's happening? What? That was so close. How ridiculous is that? I didn't get a single email saying, oh, by the way, Napoli have activated or, or paid Baron Nechea's release clause. He's worth 60, 70 million. He could have gone for 37. And I didn't even know. EA, mate. EA, mate. You need to fix this. What a joke. Luckily, 
he didn't accept the contract. So we're all good, thankfully. Right, it is time now to have a look at the group stages. I can reveal we are in Group C, but we're going to go through them all. So Group A is City, Lazio, Moscow and Celtic. Group B is Juventus, Real Madrid, Monaco and Galatasaray. That's a good one. And then our group is PSG, Ajax and Shakhtar Donetsk. So real tough, real tough group for us. PSG will be the favourites for sure. Group D is Barcelona, Napoli, Spurs and FC Basel. We've then got Dortmund, Chelsea, Lyon and Spartak Moscow in Group E. Group F is Liverpool, Leverkusen, Braga and Lokomotiv Moscow. And then finally in Group... No, there's two more. Group G is Atletico Madrid, RB Leipzig, Club Bruges, Dynamo Kiev. And then finally Group H is Bayern, Inter, Benfica and RB Salzburg. The easiest group is Liverpool's, man. I would have killed for that group. That'd be dead easy. Although Leverkusen are a very good team, I just feel like Liverpool are probably going to walk that. But uh, I'm pretty happy with ours. I think, obviously, PSG is not going to be easy. But Ajax, they would have lost a few of their, their guys for sure by now. And Shakhtar Donetsk, we should be beating them. So I would expect to be going through this group stage relatively comfortably but you just never know I guess. Up next is Granada. We're going to go ahead and simulate this one and then we have Shakhtar in the uh, the first Champions League group stage game. We've got a 4-0 win there however Torres has picked up an injury and I'm praying this isn't bad. Please don't be bad. Oh skip this. Copyright. La 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 la. Why do EA force it into the game? I can't show that in my video. It's copyrighted music. Anyway here is the injury, and it's seven days. Oh, what a relief. Okay, so Pau Torres will miss maybe the next two games, but uh, Lenormand can come in for that. So Shakhtar, I think we'll simulate this one as well. Even though it is an away game, I guess we should probably use the second team here. I'm actually going to take a look at the Shakhtar squad just in general to see what kind of players they've got. I know Fernando is a very decent player. Um, but they've definitely lost some of the other players that I would have been worried to be playing against. Marcos Antonio, showing great potential. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried. Tete is a very good player. I looked at potentially signing him. We know Tyson is a good player. And defensively, I don't know too much. Okay, well, yeah, I, I'm expecting to win this. Come on, Isaac. Let's get a hat trick. Come on. I mean, we got the 2-0 win, but Isaac didn't score. That's a shame. Yanazai and Zaracho did, though. Conor Plianka missed a penalty for Shakhtar. That could have made it one all. That would have been closer. But then Yanazai finished it off. Okay, cool. Now we have Atletico Madrid. Oh, this is a big one. Um, we just had an email come in from Torres saying he's ready. But, mate, look at your fitness. You're not ready. You're not ready to take on, arguably... One of the best teams, if not the best. I still can't believe Barcelona took over at the end of last season. But yeah, you're, you're not ready for this. Lenormand will come in. We've got to win this. We've beaten Real Madrid. We can beat Atletico Madrid as well. Look at the table. Oh my God, everyone's on 12 points in the top six. Real Madrid only loss, of course. Thank you to me. But Barcelona, Atletico Madrid... Real Betis, Valencia and Villarreal all have won every single game so far. Ouch. Of course, I will be playing with Correa for the first time against his old club as well, as will Griezmann up against his old club. Can he damage their title hopes early on? I mean, it is probably way too early to be saying things like that, but I'm really excited to give Correa a go. I remember when I signed him, I think it was in my Reading career mode many, 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 many years ago when he was first bursting onto the scene and you know, he's turned into a great, great player. But we've got him again, this time with Real Sociedad. Wait, Dembele? Did they sign Usmane Dembele? I don't I don't think it's... No, it's the other Dembele, isn't it, that plays for Leon in real life? I think it is. The ex-Celtic guy. Well, and we're 1-0 down already. Um, they just passed it really quickly, cut through and scored. And it's Zhao Felix don't really want to watch that again I'm afraid <laughs> not a good start the clean sheet is gone within seven minutes okay they are all over us at the moment I can't get close oh my god 2-0 we've not even made it to the 15 minute mark yet and it is Dembele he's going to be a problem he really is okay well, we may not win this game now, but we can still try and go for a draw. But two goals against Atletico Madrid, that's that's tough enough. 
Once again, Atletico Madrid just playing it around. They're toying with me. This is honestly like a training match, but we've won it here with Gaia. It's going to push forward here. Okay, Correa's made a good run. He was offside, but he's come back on. Here is Correa. Can he get his first goal contribution? With the cross, that's just not quite good enough. Give that to Valverde. There we go. Back inside. Come on, Correa. We need a better cross this time. No. Again, it's not great, but here's Dominguez with a long shot, which gets blocked. Oh, this ain't going... It's not going my way, this game, is it? Oh, there we go. Go on. Odegaard. Yes! Oh, he's too good. He is too damn good. Right. Don't need to watch it again. Let's just get back into this. If we can get another goal before half time, that would be insane. We've got five minutes to do it. Come on, here we go. Pereira down this right side. Inside to Griezmann. Back to Pereira. Come on. This is it. We have to make this count. Come on. Please be a good cross. Oh, I'm so disappointed with that. <laughs> How anticlimactic was that? That was terrible. But okay, we, we've still got a chance to turn this one around. Oh, they're in. Come on, Diaz. Come on, get a foot in there. Oh, Ruli with the save. Could have been a pen. Thankfully, it was a clean tackle. Or at least a clean challenge to put him off. It's a terrible corner. Why didn't I just chest that down? Just giving it straight back to them. But Erdegaard's going to pick this one up. It's a lovely ball out here to Valverde. Now Griezmann's in. Go on. Get inside. Oh, go on. Yes. He's still going. Please do something with this. Oh, for God's sake. Why did I pass it like that? I should have put some more power on it. Maybe like a triple tap cross. Correa is in here. Come on, son. Oh, he's tired, though. He's still going. Come on, Correa. Across the keeper. Oh, win the header, please. No, not, not to oh, Black. Ah, running out of time. Yes, we've won it. Come on. Oh, 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 no. I think that's it. I need to keep possession there. Oh, no. No. We're not going to have enough time. I need to win the ball right now. <sighs> of course, they play it around midfield a little bit. Oh, oh, go. I had to I had to pass it straight away or the referee blows his whistle. It's, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, that's bad because I've now lost one of those games. Lost one of the two that maybe I can lose this season. But it is, I, I would argue, one of the hardest ones going away to Atletico Madrid. So maybe it's too early to feel like I feel like this right now. I, I think we should wait because I can, I can come back. It does mean somehow that we're in sixth place. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Considering that's just our first time we've dropped points. But anyway, it is what it is. That is going to be the end of this episode. In the next one, we will be doing the kit vote. Although I still really like the kits from last season, so it wouldn't even upset me if I kept them. But I still want to uh, bring in some new kits, so you'll see that in the next episode. Um, as well as a game against PSG in the Champions League. I believe a few other big La Liga games as well. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like rating. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you follow me on Twitch as well. And I will see you for another episode very soon.